Hey everyone, Ozzy Viking here to do another video. So this time I'm doing a few different things. So first of all, Black Friday, I bought my first ever high-end-ish camera. Now the other cameras I bought, like the GH4 and the 5DS, I bought those from work on a discount, you know, and they're second hand. This is, the new camera I bought is a Lumix GH5S. This is my first ever camera I've actually bought with my own money, brand new. And I love it already. I've used it a few times so far and I'm, it's really getting me back into filmmaker's mode, you know, learning new things. I want to try to uh, color correct. I can shoot in like 10 bit and it's just, it's just really, really good. And it was a really good price too. In Australia, it, I got it on sale for $2,015, well, 2215 but there's a $200 cash back, which I've sent off. So hopefully that all goes well. And it's like, hey, Bob's your uncle. So when that happens, about 2015 bucks, which is pretty damn good, I would say, considering it's brand new, everything's working, and uh, I think it's usually like three grand, maybe more, especially at most retailers, so I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty happy. And I also bought a few new things, so I got a lapel mic, and I bought a, a really good old-fashioned um, Zoom mic as well, which is exciting. I basically bought a whole lot of filmmakers' equipment, because this year, this year's been a really good year for me. Um, I've, I've actually earned some good money, doing what I love. Um, I've met a lot of great people and being next year, being 2020, not only a new year, but also a new decade, I'm really fighting to just do more in filmmaking and I cannot wait to see what I do next. But I'm going to bring an old fashioned thing back. So I used to drink beers and compare them, right? I'm going to do that today. I'm going to drink and compare Sleeping Giant IPA, good old Indian Pale Ale, because who doesn't love that, made by one of my favorite breweries in Australia, Gage Roads and James Squire 150 Lashes. So, these are the two we are going to be trying out. Now, if you know me and have seen my other videos, you will know that I like to have one poured in a real glass, a really cleanish glass, I'm cleanish, it's an old Guinness glass, and something natural, because I like to see the difference from many a different abuse. So, we're gonna pour it into a little drinking horn of mine that I've had for a long time, and, uh, pretty great actually and it's got a little stand too so you can just now this is the sort of drinking horns you want so we're going to try uh, actually we're going to try that in here right we're going to try that one first in the viking horn and we're going to open it with my little god of war opening thing because god of war is amazing and vikings are awesome duh oh it smells beautiful oh, yeah, i was going to put it in the horn i forgot what i was going to put it in all right, let's pour. I don't know if this horn can hold all of it, but it can hold a lot. Oh, baby. Oh. That sounded better in my head. Now let's see how this goes. Oh, beautiful. None fell out of B E A. Beautiful. And then we got the IPA. So this is an Indian Pale Ale, dry hopped and unfiltered, which is great. Gage Roads is actually pretty damn good with that. It says, a tribute to the beer that once quenched the first of parched colonials at Admiral Gage's East India Station, that English IPA is a malt driven with slightly spicy aromas, lingering bitterness, and we bottle it unfiltered for flavor and freshness. Well, I will be the tank of that, Mr. Gage Rhodes, which, I mean, it's probably gonna be the best shit ever because Gage Rhodes, they are top tier. I love Gage Rhodes. I think they're actually a really good Australian brewer. Oh, and that's got that Indian pale smell. I love pales and Indian pales, even though I'm trying to lose weight, so I go for like the, the you know, low carb beers and stuff. Look at that. Colourful and delightful. So I should move it around to get it into the lights, you know. I mean, I ain't one for the whole, like, oh, the colour's a bit this, it's a bit orange, the bubbles are quite nice. It's like, it looks like beer, it smells like beer. There was none left in there, but I'm fairly certain it's going to taste like beer. Smells good, though. 
Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Now that, that's an Eden Pale Ale. It doesn't taste too different from most other Pale Ales. It's less... Hmm. There's less bite to it, I would say. You know, you get it, you get the sort of aftertaste and the taste of normal ales, but it's less stingy and more, it doesn't attack you as much as other pale, um, Indian Pale Ales. I think the last Indian Pale Ale I had, which I think is a video on here, that one was quite strong, if I remember correctly. And this one, this isn't that strong. It's not too hoppy. It's kind of just right in a way. But then again, that depends what kind of uh, hops you're into. Yes, I got that on. I just might try everything on. Mm, but it's good. Smooth. Now let's try... 150 Lashes. 150 Lashes has always been pretty good. Yeah. Definitely different. Obviously. Not as sharp. This one, this one's not as sharp as that one. Let's have a look. What does this say? It says it's got cracking flavor, hints of passion fruit, but grapefruit full of character. Well, it's full of sudden. Fifty Shades story. Fifty Shades. One Fifty Lashes story. James Squire was the first fleet convict who later became Australia's first brewer. That is actually true. The story goes he was caught stealing hops to make beer, but got off lightly in 150 lashes while the judge enjoyed two barrels of ale. That is the most Australian thing I think I've ever heard in my life. And I can believe that 100%. But yeah, that one, there's actually not much bite to it compared to the, the pale ale, the um, pale ale, the Indian pale ale. Hmm. Interesting. That is, uh... Hmm. I mean, half of me thinks it's the heat. But, um... I'll have a quick swig from here. Yeah, wow. That's actually, um... Not as flavoursome. Especially when you cut... Like, I should have probably had that first, because having that after this... Yeah, this, this just explodes with flavour. That one just like plummets down in a way. It's uh, rather interesting, i got to say. Yeah, that's, um, that's rather weird. Rather, rather interesting. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what most people say. You can't do that. Well, of course I can. I'm me. I'm an Australian. And as an Australian, mate, as a bloody Australian, I want to come here and say, we enjoy a good beer. Even if it doesn't taste as good as some other beers. You ever drink VB? Fucking terrible. Well, it's made in Victoria, so what do you expect? If you want a good beer, you drink that West End, mate. Actually, no, don't. Whatever you do, do not drink VB or West End. Bogans drink that shit. Don't drink them. They're actually pretty bad. But I'm also going to do a little bogan thing. I'm going to mix these together and see what we get. See what's popping. Because why not? <laughs> hey, my dad's done crazy shit. You see it? Actually, and there's crazy drinks. Like, have you guys ever had a snake bite? Bloody cider and Guinness mixed together. Well, dark ale, but hey. Alright, so... Ooh. I really think Indian Pale Ales and Pale Ales morph together is actually a damn fine idea. Mmm. Mmm. There's a good bite to it. It kind of mixes well where there's a strong bah, but also like a kind of good mid-tone in a way. Ooh. Mmm. Nice, yeah, the hops, like, it's not too hoppy, not too less hoppy. It's kind of weird how they kind of like morph together. I have to admit, I like them. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, if you ever come to Australia, you see these beautiful things, ready to roll, grab them. I would recommend this, but this can cost a lot of money. This was like 60 bucks. And I think that might have been even on sale. 
I mean, it's an IPA, so what do you expect? But still, keep that in mind. This one though, about 40 bucks, 43 at the most. Definitely a good deal if that's all you can see. But if you had to choose, I would go with that one. But hey, that's what you get. Anyway, that is the Aussie Viking out. I shall see you all in Valhalla. Bye. Actually, it's not bad. Yeah, that, that was... I felt like I needed to stay in there a bit longer.